KUAM News, brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Subway and Chili's Grill and Bar. COVID-19 cases have been on the rise in both private and public schools. In order to counter it, public health introduced a new way to determine if a student is COVID positive or not. Today, DPHSS conducted a training session on the new Binax testing kits with representatives from each Catholic school. Public Information Officer Janella Carrera. They went into the portion of training the, um, the Catholic school representatives on how to administer Binax tests. And um, the Binax test is the one that would give you results within 15 minutes. Usually the way it works is there's a, a card, like a, just like a, the size of a credit card, and there's a, a swab that goes through the shallow part of your nostril. Uh, you, you turn it about five times uh, into the shallow part of your nostril. With this new rapid testing kit, Catholic schools can now better handle children who test positive for the virus. After 15 minutes, you wait for the results and um, it'll tell you if you're positive or negative. Um, and the beauty of that is, especially in the school setting, and that's the reason why we have the Catholic schools here, is if there is a child who's feeling symptomatic, um, then you'd be able to tell whether or not the child is positive at the, during school and immediately be able to isolate that child uh, at the school setting. Carrera said that soon it will be DOE's turn to learn how to handle the new COVID testing kits. Prior to schools starting, there is in the guidance memo um, uh, testing that we'll, we are planning to do uh, on a regular basis. And so, of course, um, that is still something that we are planning. In fact, this entire week, public health uh, was doing site visits and walkthroughs uh, at different schools with, along with the superintendent and uh, other representatives with DOE. DPHSS will continue to monitor public schools to see if the COVID health protocols put in place are being followed. Once this has been confirmed, all DOE schools will be trained. We want to get a gauge of how the mitigation measures and protocols are being followed to see if there are any other areas that um, can be improved um, because there are 41 public schools. And um, so we'll look at that. We'll come back to the table, see uh, areas of improvement, uh, see where other schools might be um, really leading the way in terms of following the, the guidance. Uh, and then, you know, from there we can decide uh, where to go. Um, but that is in the guidance, it's actually uh, required as uh, regular testing for students at DOE schools as well. Carrera added that there is a vaccination clinic down in Inalahan at the Southern Region Community Health Center, open every Tuesday and Wednesday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. As we reported this week, another vaccination clinic is being planned at the former Forever 21 location but no word yet on when it will open. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Daniel Perez.